Hello and welcome to this short tutorial video from Production Assist. In this video, we'll show you how static calculations are generated in Production Assist. Production Assist has a real-time statics engine. This calculates the changes in a truss system for both suspended and ground-supported structures. The static evaluation can be found under Calculation Result under the kinematic chain, the so-called scene tree. For this purpose, various relevant evaluation options are available. In order to understand this, let's look at an example. The suspended trusses, or the rig, can be calculated in the following ways. I take the truss line that has not yet been assigned a sling and select a chain hoist from new object. And insert it into the plant point of suspension. Furthermore, I add a weight to the truss line. To do this, I go to Inventory and Weight and enter a rather high weight for the purpose of better visibility in this example. By the way, the units of measurement can be specified in the settings under File so that the most common units are always available. The fact that we have entered a specific weight is shown by the thin blue calculation line. If the display is not presented immediately after the calculation type has been selected, this will be due to the setting of error indicators. These must be enabled so that I can view the calculated values as well as any calculation errors. These can be enabled under the label icon at the bottom right of the footer area. Now I can see the desired evaluation of the bending moments. One additional remark applies to the error messages. As long as the flying structures do not yet have fixed points, error messages will appear. These messages appear in the renderer in text form. If these warnings bother me when drawing, I can turn them on or off at the label icon in the footer. In order to calculate a ground-supported structure, I also create an example of this by drawing a truss line and building a portal frame with block corners and supports. Ground-supported structures, as well as suspended ones, need a load introduction point, which we find here under ground support as an attachment, and thus insert at the respective places. Here, there's another inaccuracy in the placement of the support, which I delete just now. Thus, the structure can now be automatically calculated and evaluate it in the way we have already seen. In the case there are several calculated structures, it is advisable to divide them into certain selection groups. This can be done via the navigation and the button selection groups groups. In this example, I put the entire assembly group in a selection group, because they form a unit and can then retrieve and view the calculated results of the desired group at any time. Another possibility for conducting immediate queries works via editing with the commands select object for calculation or reset object for calculation. To sum up, the FEM method is used to calculate the structures of trusses. The values of the static effects on the structure 
are calculated in real time and can be accessed via calculation result. The error indicators, which arise as long as the structure does not yet have any supports, can be displayed and hidden at the bottom right via the label icon. We will be happy to answer even more questions in the next video. Thank you for your attention.